Hey Pisces, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be, oops, a love reading, bonus love reading for, actually for any time that you press play on this video, okay? Time is fluid. Anytime you press play is a time for you to receive the messages. This is going to be for Pisces and for those who have Pisces place, placements, please check your chart. Sorry guys, I got like an office thing going on and over here. But anyway, check your chart. Um, cross watchers, as always, you're welcome here. Keep in mind the roles may be reversed because energy is fluid. You may flip the messages as needed if necessary, but never force it. If this is for you, the messages will be fluid, guys. Never force the reading, all right? So, Pisces, I did a pre-shuffle. And in the pre-shuffle, I got the overall energy that there's something that you really need to sit with. There's something that you need to just take a deep breath, sit with, process, and release. That is the overall energy that I got. Um, I feel like there's, a, there's, there's some conflicting energy here. And I also feel like there's somebody that you're connecting with. Um, there's like some sort of offer in love, some sort of new connection, some, someone you're connecting with. But I also feel like there's something that you're holding on to um, currently that you should be moving on from. All right. So I feel this conflicted energy. All right. But um, we're going to go into the tarot to see exactly what that is for Pisces. Show me the messages for Pisces and love. What does Pisces need to see? I, I kind of have like cards from two tarot decks mixed in here. I kind of like that. It's like a confirmation of a message. So I'm just going to let it happen. I don't know how the cards got in here, but I'm going to keep it like that. <laughs> Show me the messages, please. For Pisces. Show me the messages for Pisces and love. Yeah. I feel like there's some sort of paternity issue. I had to call it as I see it with someone. I feel like there's someone that's not doing their part for their child or children with you. That's a very specific message. It's not going to resonate with everyone. So don't think, oh, I don't have any children. This reading's not for me. That's not it. It's just that that's the message that I downloaded immediately. That some of you, there's some sort of issue with someone. With the Ten of Cups reverse, there's some sort of broken home here with somebody that you were with. And I'm getting like a long-term relationship for some of you or some of you even a marriage that you were in. Or that you're even trying to get out of. Um, but some sort of long-term relationship, someone in here had, was raised in a dysfunctional family or the family itself was very dysfunctional, lacked security and stability. With the Emperor reverse Aries energy, there's someone here that's very stubborn very resistant and this is someone who's not doing what they're supposed to be doing for their child or children and i'm getting them even questioning if the child is theirs okay this is someone who takes you for granted that you feel burdened by because they're not doing what they need to be doing with this ten of wands but there's a new cycle here there's a new beginning here with the world that's capricorn energy so with the seven of wands i feel like I feel like you're, you're, you know, you're standing your ground with this person that's giving you a problem. For some of you, this is, you know, this is also the energy of someone who doesn't have child or children with this person as well. But what I'm getting with the emperor reverse is that this person doesn't have their their, their father is absent in their life. Okay. Um. So for some of you, this person may not even know who their father is. Um. There's some paternity issue there, and this is why this person acts the way they do. And that's why they're, you know, they were raised in a dysfunctional family. They had an absent parent and they had a bunch of, just because you have an absent parent doesn't mean your family is dysfunctional. But I get that this person, like, they moved around a lot. They wasn't raised by their parent. They could have been raised by another relative or one parent. But there was the, they saw things that they shouldn't have seen at a very young age. And, you know, there was a lot of unhappiness in their upbringing. And this is what causes them to be so unstable themselves. Why is this world here, though? You could be connecting with the Capricorn or an Aries. Oh, okay, yes. Judgment. We're going to find out if this is a situation where you move on to someone else. Because I did get the energy for some of you that there's this conflicting energy. There's someone that you need to let go of. But for some of you, 
this is a situation where you need to move move on from the situation, not necessarily the person. Okay, so keep that in mind that there's an energy that I'm getting from the pre-shuffle that there's a need for you to move on from someone. I mean, I'm sorry, move on from a situation. Okay, so we're going to find out because I got the world and the judgment here. There's some sort of um, awakening here. Okay, but some, the, the judgment can also be a reunion. It can also be forgiveness. So we're going to find out if this is a new person or if this is... Because, oh, someone that doesn't appreciate you. Yeah, this page of Pentacles Reverse, this person wants your forgiveness. They're, they're... This is someone, again, that's taking you for granted. There may be an opportunity to start over with this person. Let's find out. Show me more. But you do need to sit with something and process it and release it. Yeah, some of you are married to this person or, again, in a very in a long-term commitment with this person. You could be connecting with a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. I have Libra energy here. Very strong. Oh, wow. This is a commitment. This is someone that's willing to come together um, and be your ideal partner. They're going through some sort of awakening with the Judgment card right now they're experiencing their karma they're going through their, you know this person recognizes that they have a lot of trauma from their upbringing but they want to make things work they want to come together and make things work for some of you they either want to, i'm hearing co-parenting for those who have a child or children the will of fortune is here wow this is a destined um connection this is this is a karmic this is a new cycle That really surprised me because in the pre-shuffle, I felt like the balance is in like someone reaching out. Like there's reciprocity available now, but you got to move on from something from the past. I'm hearing choose your battles. Someone does have their hand out with their heart in their hands. So I feel like this is very sincere. There's Knight of Cups here. So that clarifies a lot. And I haven't even gotten to this person's full feelings yet because... um yeah, now we know that this is the same person. We'll see. Let's go into their feelings. <laughs> Show me this person's feelings for Pisces. Yeah, this person loves you. Wow, there's a lot of love. I got the two of cups. This person is coming out of the toxic energy that they're in. I said they're going through an awakening. Capricorn energy, very strong Capricorn here. There are things that you don't see yet because there's no communication. You guys are not communicating, but this person is like, this is your love. You guys have been through a lot, a lot of trauma. They're trying to come towards you in Knight of Pentacles energy. This is very reliable, but very slow moving. That means this person is putting in the work. They're literally putting in the work to be a better version of themselves for themselves and for you because they know that they've been toxic and now they have to look at this self. The judgment is about self-evaluation. It's about renewal. This person is like homesick for you. So this person wants to return. They feel sick without you. Wow. Show me more for with, with the breakdown in this connection. Yeah, the magician reverse. This person was just playing games. They were playing mind games. They were being a little manipulative. They were being manipulative. T um, ten of nine of cups reverse. <sighs> This person now wants to, they want to learn about the issues that they have. With the, with the Page of Cups, this is someone who recognizes they have emotional issues and they want to learn about them. They want to get the help that they need. This is sincere. Okay, this is baby steps. Page energy is small. But again, I also pulled the Knight of Pentacles. This person wanted to move slowly, but as somebody that you can count on, someone who's reliable. So for a lot of you, um, I feel like the paternity issues... Some of you, this person, just to be um, an asshole, to be exact, magician reverse, was saying, like, questioning, like, the, the paternity of the child or children you have together. Again, that's a very direct message. It's a very small amount, maybe like 20% of you in that situation. But I want you to know they were doing that because they were just being resistant. They were deflecting onto you. They were playing mind games. They were being manipulative just to mess with you. The magician, Gemini, you could be connecting with the Gemini, Okay. But this person knows that they they caused they you know they caused unhappiness that they devastated this connection with you. You could be connecting with a Cancer, a Scorpio, or another Pisces. 
all right but now this person is like i want to you know i want to do something nice i want to come in um they're trying to listen to their intuition and they want to you might get a call from this person at some point or a sweet message something a gift maybe a small gift but this is per, this is someone who who wants to you know they want to learn about the emotional issues okay this is someone who's getting clarity seven of cups reverse and they're recognizing that they made a lot of poor decisions in this connection they see you as the queen of cups very loving, very nurturing. Like you gave emotionally with no hesitation when it came to this person, even though with the five of cups, I mean, five of swords, they wasn't always worthy of it because they sabotaged the connection. This person even walked away at times. Very unstable. I feel like I'm getting the energy now that this person, the times that this person walked off from you is because they felt you were going to leave them. So they want they left you they left you first because they have abandonment issues and they they couldn't bear thinking about you leaving them. But with the seven of wands, this this person knows now that you're very guarded from them, and that's why they want they want to put in the work and come towards you. They don't want to lose you. Seven of wands for the second time. All right, show me um, Pisces feelings for this person, please. What is Pisces feelings for this person? This person lied to you about something and it was exposed, okay? But you don't feel that this is over either, though. You don't. You don't feel like this is over with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. You just feel like there's some setbacks and you, you two are not together. But look at this. How insane. How fucking insane. I got the Wheel of Fortune twice. I got it reversed and upright when I asked about your feelings. 1010 can be significant to you. Um, you guys are destined, because this is the second time that I pulled an upright Wheel of Fortune. You guys are destined to be together. There's a new cycle available to you too. And this is after something on the outside caused a lot of, you know, disorder, disruption in this connection. It's just like your person's trauma and their issues is what's caused all the disruption in this connection. And you know that. That's why I asked about your feelings. And with the two of swords reverse, it's like you're trying to move forward, but you like, you see this for what it is. And you're, but you, there's still some indec indecision, like, should I move forward? And that's why in the pre-shuffle, I got the energy of, should you move forward? Should you move forward out this person? Should you move towards them? And because again, there is a, there's an energy of re reciprocity waiting for you guys, like, This person is going to reach out and it's going to bring everything back into balance. Look at this, justice. Justice. Some of you even went as far as a court case and it went in your favor. But this person still wants to come in. They don't want to lose you and they want to apologize. For others, they, you know, you guys threatened a court case or there was some sort of legal dispute. And this person realizes that they deserved whatever happened to them and they want to come in and they want to apologize. You could be connecting with a Libra. But I asked about your feelings, and there's some for some of you, yes, he wasn't playing. You didn't waste no time. And you're like, this person, you know, this is their karma. There's consequences to your actions. Page of Wands reverse. You feel like this person is very insensitive. But at the same time, there's so much love that you feel for this person. And like I said before, there's something that you don't see. There's this will of fortune. There's this, there's this new cycle, okay? This person is coming back. So if this person walked away from you with the three of wands reversed, they're coming back. They're realizing that whatever they were deciding to do, it wasn't a good idea. You know, whatever it is that when they walked away, because that was their ego when they walked away. All right. Whatever it was, it wasn't worth losing you. Tower reverse. This person was resisting change. Okay. The tower moment happened. Now it's like time to rebuild, time to recover, time to find balance again. Show me more for Pisces feelings. You're just trying to remain enthusiastic and, and, and you know, just, just trying to just take care of yourself with the page of bonds. You're taking it one day at a time, baby steps. Yeah, you're trying to recover from this person that took you for granted. Six of pentacles reversed. This person that didn't reciprocate. But at the same time, there's a fear of moving on. Eight of cups reversed. Somebody's coming back. And you know this person's coming back because that's what they do. But what is your challenge with this person when they return? Show me Pisces feelings for this person, please. Oh, man. 
you feel like this person was talking to you, talking about you to someone else. I got the Queen of Swords reverse here. Show me why the Queen of Swords reverse is here. Okay. Wow, you're the Queen of Pentacles. You take care of yourself. You don't need shit. But you got somebody talking crazy about you, Queen of Swords reverse. I feel like it's an ex or a baby's mother. I hate to say that term, but that's what I'm hearing, so I have to say it. But there's someone in your person's air that you can't that can't be trusted talking crazy about you. Meanwhile, you know, making it seem like you, you know, you you're in it for money or and meanwhile you take care of yourself. Look at that. Oh my god. I just said that. The Queen of Swords reverse came out with the Nine of Pentacles reverse right next to it. This person is talking shit about you and how, you know, you have like shady, you know, investments financially, that you that you lack security financially, that you rely on, you know, the, the person, this person financially. Meanwhile, here you are with the same card upright, Nine of Pentacles over here, like whatever, I take care of myself. This person is... You know, the Queen of Swords reverse, this is someone who's who's miserable, miserable person who just likes to talk shit and can't be trusted. They like to put people down. You know why? Because they feel like it's hopeless for them. So they got to shit on you. Star reverse. This could be an Aquarius. This person knows that they, you know, this, your person doesn't want them the way they want you. And they feel like, you know, they know it's hopeless for them. So they got to talk shit about you. And you know about this because I asked about your feelings. So you know that there's a shit talking ex. Doesn't resonate with everybody. Very personal um, message. Somebody's just playing mind games, and you know that. And the magician reverse. But no matter what, they can't break you two. The lovers is here. You guys are soulmates. Y'all are destined to be together. You and this person. In spite of all the challenges, in spite of their unstable upbringing and all the shit that they come with, there's real love here. And this queen of swords reverse can't stand it. So what is what is the challenges for Pisces in this connection? What is Pisces' challenges? Stay encouraged. Your challenge is to stay encouraged. Page of Wands. Okay, avoid the drama. Five of Wands. Okay? You feel conflicted about this. That's what I'm getting as well. You feel conflicted about what you should do. And <laughs> Ace of Swords reverse. That you don't have the clarity. You guys are not communicating right now. And you feel conflicted. But spirit is like, stay encouraged. Page of Wands. You could be connecting with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Because there's something that you don't see. Like, you don't see this person wanting to come back as a, a better version of themselves. You just see somebody with issues. Show me the advice. What advice do we have for Pisces? What advice do we have for Pisces in this connection? If the cards come out sideways, guys, I don't read them. I only read uprights and reversals. Show me advice, please. This person is coming in. Only problem is this person likes to come in hasty, right? And that's what I feel like you're expecting. But again, I pulled the Knight of Pentacles earlier, and this person is surprising you. They're like, no, nah, I'm not going to come in fast. I'm going to do this work. I'm going I'm to be... I'm a, get my shit together and then I'm going to come towards Pisces. The temperaments is here. This is about forgiveness. This is about compromising. Time heals all wounds. This is about bringing balance back into the, the connection and moderation. This is going to require a lot of hard work. Yes. And patience. But this will work. You could be connecting with the Sagittarius. But the reason why your person hasn't come forward right now, as much as they're thinking about you, with the two of wands reverse, they're afraid that you're going to reject them if they come in now. So they, they're willing to put in the work. Because you're going to, if they come in right now, fast, they feel like, yo, oh, Pisces is going to reject me because this is what they do. They go in and out. You're not going to take them seriously. So the only way to take them seriously is if they come slowly. All right? Because they've caused you so much pain, all right? But with the four of wands, this is your happiness. This person is coming in. They want things to work. They're ready. They want to, you know, they're coming home. It's going to surprise you. They already in their head about it. They're already literally right now putting in the work, okay? So they're going to be reaching out with their hand, their heart in their hands. They want to reciprocate. So I'm hearing choose your battles, I keep hearing that. Choose your battles. Choose your battles. So that's why you need to sit with your feelings and process them and release them because there's a need for you to let go of some shit. And that's why in the pre-shuffle, I got the energy of moving on from something. And it's from the past. Because if you want this to work, you guys are going to have to meet each other 
in the in the in the current you know in the present situation, you know whatever that time is when they come in. I got the seven of wands again. You very guarded, but spirit is saying stand your ground with this person, make them work for it, but also be receptive to recovery. Three of wands, we three of I'm sorry, three of swords reversed. Be receptive to recovery. Um, I'm picking up a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, also Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Show me more for advice. Why is this seven of swords here? Yeah, this person was very sneaky with you, playing mind games. They're in their head about it, though. There's a lot of anxiety because they know that they hurt you. They know that they betrayed you. Whatever that betrayal is, guys, this is a co collective reading. It may be different for everyone. All right? Again, a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But this person is letting go of all of that shit. Ten of Wands. Reverse. And Spirit wants you to release everything that's burdened you as well. Okay? Get some rest. Take care of yourself. Yeah, this person is coming out of their stuck energy. They're going to be moving towards you. Four of Cups. Reverse. All right? So show me the advice. Spirit also wants you to let go of the regret. Four of Cups reverse. Because there's a lot of regret that you feel with this person keeping you stuck. And Spirit is like, let go of that stuck energy. Let go of everything that's burdening you. Ten of Wands reverse. Everything that's burdening you, like, let it go. Move on from that energy, okay? The Hangman reverse. Yeah, the negative cycle that you two were in. That this person had you stuck because there was someone who was you know, occupied with other things, some of it material, king of pentacles reverse. There's all these thoughts that you're having about this person and not making you a priority. And there's a need for you to let go of that. Show me advice, please. What advice do we have for Pisces? Yeah, got it again. The sun reverse. You're like this person, you know, their expectations are unrealistic. They miscarried the connection. This person played around with my feelings, Knight of Wands reversed. I feel like you person, you people, you people, you two knew each other for a long time. Like this person is, was very emotionally immature. They promised you a lot, but didn't deliver. So it's hard for you to have faith that things could be better with this person because they've devastated you. I don't read um, cards that are sideways, but there's a need for you to let go of the past. Six of Cups reversed. Because this person is, you know, they're working on their maturity. They're finally growing up. They're focusing on the future. So there's a need for you to do the same. Look at this. Temperaments again. Balance. Okay? Moderation. A lot of hard work. A lot of patience. But this is not what you think it is. This person is coming in as someone who's letting go of their issues and they're focusing on the future. Okay? So Spirit wants you to know that, that there's balance coming in. Look, the lovers... You guys are meant to be together. There's a major choice in love here, and you have to decide if you want this partnership. All right? With this, with the Seven of Swords now reverse, Spirit wants you to know that this person is coming in um, with an apology. Anything you need to know, they're going to confess it to you because their conscience is kicking in about certain things that they still need to tell you. Um, what is it that they need to confess to the Pisces? Wow, that flew out. Oh. They just want to confess with the Eight of Pentacles that they do want to work on this. They do want this commitment with you. And they feel lonely. The Hermit Reverse. They're just afraid. They're afraid of being lonely. They're afraid of being abandoned. And that's why they withdraw because of fear. You could be connecting with a um, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. Wow. So this person's fear is the reason why they act the way that they do. So they feel like they betrayed you by keep saying they're going to commit to this and then walking away. But no, now this person is like, just be patient with me. Be patient with me. I'm willing to work on this commitment. All right. So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some lovers or cool cards. I feel like the universe just has their hands on this. This is the gift from the universe that this person is coming in with their heart in their hands finally. So that's why I'm here to choose your battles. Don't focus too much on what has happened. Focus on what needs to happen moving forward. All right? That's what I'm here in Pisces. All right? So let's see what messages Spirit has for you from the Love Oracle cards. Show me the messages, please, for Pisces and love. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. Oh. 
yeah, this person is going to reach out and it's going to bring everything into balance. Again, it's going to feel surprising. It's going to feel like out of nowhere, but that's not the case. This person is working on themselves now. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. I love this for you, Pisces. I love this for you. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. Remember, love is the greatest healer. Let me say this too, Pisces. I'm not minimizing your feelings. Don't think that I am. You are within your right to feel that the way that you felt with this person and what they did was wrong and they needed to change. They need to be accountable and you shouldn't take anything less. I just want you to know that this person is coming in with that. So when they do, even though you know this because of the reading, let them earn it. Let them work on it. That's why the overall energy that I got in the pre-shuffle is you needing to sit with yourself and take a deep breath. You know, process your feelings. You know, sit with yourself, process your, your feelings and release them. Because you're going to need a clean slate to, to go through the next steps in this transformation and this, with this connection. Okay? Beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And that's why you have to choose your battles. And that's why you have to let go of certain things. Because you don't want to be in a situation where you're being combative with someone who's trying to be receptive. You both need to be on the same page in order to heal this connection. All right? Spirit is saying one more. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Yeah. I love this for you. There's a new opportunity to heal this connection. And I feel so relieved because in the pre-shuffle, I was picking up conflicting energies. And I wasn't sure if it was going to be a new connection and you need to move away from this person. But what it is, is this person is moving away from their old ways and moving towards you as a wish fulfillment. All right, so those are the messages that, um, that are for you, Pisces. Um, if you're interested in a personal reading, click in the link in the description box below. I wish you healing. I wish you love and light. Also, if this reading resonates, tap the like button. Guys, it helps me grow, okay? It helps us tarot readers grow. It helps us let it lets us know that you want to see more of these messages when you let us know that you appreciated the message, all right? So again, I wish you healing, love, and light, and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye.